Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Police nab Kili Kili. The St. James Police are reporting that they have arrested one of the most wanted men in the parish, Fabian Kili Kili Morris. According to police sources, Morris has been on the run since February 2nd when he was alleged to have murdered Marvin Holness. The sources say both men had an argument and Morris brandishing a firearm and opened fire killing Holness in Niagara Square in the parish. On Monday about 1.30 p.m., an intelligence-driven operation was conducted by the St. James Proactive Investigation Unit and the newly formed Divisional Fugitive Apprehension Team. Morris was captured in the area called Acadia. The sources say Morris was accosted by the covert teams and a black and chrome Taros 9mm pistol and 18 rounds were taken from him. The St. James Divisional Fugitive Apprehension Team is assigned exclusively to track and facilitate the arrest of criminals who are wanted in the parish. Even though the team operates in St. James, it also crosses divisional borders on the trail of criminals. Pursuit operations by the team has led to the capture of St. James wanted men in Westmoreland, Hanover, St. Elizabeth and St. Anne. Police nab suspect in Mobe double murder. The police say they have arrested and charged the man suspected of committing a double murder in St. James on Friday, January 15. The police said Navarone Hayes, otherwise called Mock, was arrested during an operation in Norwood era of the parish on Thursday, March 18. He was charged with two counts of murder, wounding with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition on Friday, March 26. It is reported that about 8 o'clock on the night in question, Haste and a group of men went to a bar in Norwood where they shot and killed 47-year-old Donovan Reed and 20-year-old Nicardo Daly. Lawmen said they continue to make headway in the investigation and are appealing to residents to share information they have on the other people involved in the incident by calling the Major Investigation Division 876-758-5048, Crime Stop at 311, Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Family appeals for help in finding missing teacher. The family of 31-year-old primary school teacher Natalie Darkins is offering a $500,000 reward to anyone who can provide information leading to her safe return. Darkins, a teacher at Four Pass Primary in Clarendon, was last seen at her home in that community on Tuesday evening, March 30 by a neighbor who alerted her to her car alarm going off. Her navy blue Toyota Wish motor car is also missing and her handbag was found on the Spanish stone leg of Highway 2000 today. Darkins is from Denby Carl, Clarendon. The police said her relatives tried contacting her this morning, but the calls went unanswered. When relatives went to Darkins' house, they realized that her car and other items were missing. Darkins is of dark complexion, about medium built and about 139 centimeters tall. Her attire at the time of her disappearance is unknown. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Natalie Darkins is being asked to contact the Four Pass Police at 876-987-0429 or 876-987-0489, Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Fire stations get a helping hand from Jamaica Energy Partners. The Trench Town and Rollington Town Fire Stations are the latest beneficiaries of donations under the Jamaica Energy Partners Jeff Group's Cooperative Social Responsibility CSR portfolio. Members of Jeff CSR committee formally presented critical items following a needs assessment at the fire station's neighboring West Kingston Power Partner WKPP and Jamaica Private Power Company, JPPC. The JEP Group has always maintained favorable relationships with fire departments, police stations, schools, and health centers within the communities in which the companies operate. Subsequently, to donate last year, we had maintained the relationship and seek to fill urgent needs for firefighters that will help to save lives, JEP's Corporate Responsibility Manager, Melissa Newman, stated. During an assessment at the Trenchtown Fire Station, WKPP identified an industrial washing machine's need to keep uniforms and clothing clean and sanitized. On this occasion, WKPP Safety and Security Specialist 
Emila Durant made the handover at the station to Assistant Commissioner Era 1, Allery Cocker, and Officer in Charge of Operations Era 1, Joshua Davis. In East Kingston, HR business partner and CSR committee member Shakira McKenzie and CSR officer at JPPC, Patrice Howell, delivered 10 4 inches steel hatchet to District Officer Sigmund Sutherland and his team members at the Rollington Town Fire Station. The all purpose demolition tools were well received and will complement the station's effort in responding to emergencies that require prying or piercing to save lives. Newman added that Jamaica Energy Partners Group has been working within our communities to help address health and safety needs, especially in light of the spread of COVID-19. Up to the anniversary of the pandemic last weekend on March 20, the talent spent for the Group on Health, Safety and Education initiatives to combat the spread of coronavirus has eclipsed $11 million. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.